Mengting Gao is co-founder of Kitchen Stories. The Berlin startup has released an app designed to get people cooking. It's already available for the iPhone and tablet. Now plans for an Apple Watch version are in the works too. There's a new dish on the watch every day. You can flick through the steps and pictures. If you like what you see, you can add things to the shopping list. Right now, they're still testing the app on the computer. Only a few selected developers were given advance access to an Apple Watch. The watch is already on display in stores. The buzz is huge. Smartwatches have been around for years now, but Apple's device could be a game changer for wearables. Martin Emma says it's an exciting development. Digitalization has broken down communication boundaries in many spheres, and smartwatches are part of that development. The Internet of Things is also a trend right now, and we're seeing all sorts of devices become part of our daily lives. The digital sphere will greatly expand our options for communication. News outlets are also part of the trend. Nowadays, television no longer sets the agenda. Instead, it's all about mobile first. IT developers at Deutsche Welle are working on a new app. It's being adapted for the Apple Watch 2, a new challenge for developers. For one thing, the content has to be optimized. It's got to be shorter and punchier. You also need to keep in mind that there's no standardized browser for content. Instead, you have many different output paths. Reading something on a smartphone is different from reading on a website or a newspaper. And that has an impact on journalism. Editors have to adapt content to the media. Game developers like Martin Pittenauer also need to adapt to the new trend. He's already reworked his successful iPhone game, Rules, for the smartwatch. It's the first game Apple's approved for its smartwatch. You don't want to have to hold your arm out for half an hour, so the game segments need to be nice and short for it to be fun. But if that works, it's a nice alternative to digging out your phone. The advantage of a smartwatch becomes apparent in a social setting. You do need a phone for it to work. But casting a glance at your watch isn't considered rude, unlike constantly reaching for your smartphone. When your phone is on silent and vibrates in your pocket, it's not actually silent. The smartwatch is different because it doesn't buzz, it taps. So for the first time, you have a device that can give you completely silent notifications. It remains to be seen how smartwatches will change our daily lives. Getting your shopping list directly on your watch is certainly practical. And so is a quick look at your wrist to check the news. And to top it off, the watch can even tell you what time it is. Shift says a new time is coming.